हेलो वाइज वेलकम बैक सो टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर स्ट्रेटेजी सीरीज एंड वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू कवर द फाइनेंस पोर्शन ऑफ द एफ एम पेपर ऑफ एज टू एग्जामिनेशन सो वाइज आइज आई ऑलवेज से प्लीज डाउनलोड द सिलेबस फर्स्ट एंड जस्ट वंस गो थ्रू द सिलेबस ऑफ द फाइनेंस पार्ट इफ यूल गो थ्रू द सिलेबस इट सेल्फ देन यू विल फाइंड दैट टॉपिक्स आर वेरी मच सिंपल डायरेक्ट एंड एक्सप्लिसिट इन नेचर सो स्पेशली नॉन फाइनेंस गाइज जस्ट डोंट फियर दिस finance thing it can be covered easily and today we will see how we can do that so guys uh, if you will see you know in uh, section 1 financial system of the syllabus very direct topics are mentioned for example regulators of banks and financial institutions rbi functions conduct of monetary policy banking system in india structure and concern etc so first we have to focus is that we develop our basic understanding of all these terms for example let us say you are just uh, just a starter and you don't know what is monetary policy right so we will have to start from that level to begin the preparation uh, from the zero level you what you can do is just go through the bes series of munnal.org of course the complete series is not relevant for the rbi graduate examination it is more relevant for the civil services guides but this series will develop a basic understanding of all the financial system of the country for example what are banks what are the types uh, cooperative banks uh, regional rural banks and all that then what is uh, sebi what is rbi and what is their role etc etc so if you will go through the uh, series once then you will develop this basic understanding of the complete economy or the complete financial system of the country that is very much important in order to begin the full preparation of this uh, finance part apart from that uh this murunal series you can refer any one standard book you know if especially if you are from non finance then you can refer one book from bharti pathak yes i referred this book also in very beginning uh it's very basic book and it's very detailed in nature of course you don't have to you know read this book cover by cover you can skip this book also but it's up to you you know if you are just a beginner and you you do not know Uh, any basic understanding of uh, the financial system as a whole then you can refer this book of course if you are from finance background or from economics background then you must be having some basic awareness about all these terms then of course you can skip this book then third book which is again optional you can purchase one uh, any upsc civil services economy related book for example ramesh singh is there this book also contains very basic Uh, terms for example what is crr what is slr and all other things are given in this book of course guys these books are standard books and these are optional in nature you have to identify your level you know if you have already developed the basic understanding of all these terms then you can skip both these books but if you are a beginner and you do not know abc of the financial system then you can uh, purchase any one uh, of the two books i mentioned then guys uh, after you have gone through the standard books or the murunal series then once just go through the uh, previous year questions uh, paper especially you know descriptive questions paper so if you will uh, go through the questions paper in the descriptive part you will see that questions are very basic and direct in nature for example this year uh, i think one question was there uh, on the global financial crisis 2008 uh it was very simple in nature what what is gfc what was impact on india and i think they asked what indian regulators or the rbi did to overcome uh, overcome the effects of that crisis so of course this gfc topic or or the global financial crisis topic it is mentioned itself in the syllabus so some portion may not be covered uh from any of the sources i mentioned so in that case what you have to do is just google that topic and just try to develop a basic understanding of about that particular topic for example uh, let us say gfc itself so just try to develop a basic understanding what is gfc why it happened where it happened you know what was the impact on india then what india did to overcome that so all other uh, related things you have to cover by internet only so if any other specific topic which is mentioned in the syllabus but not covered in any of the sources which i just mentioned 
then just use internet extensively apart from that you can use investopedia site uh, very much extensively for example you do not know what is a derivative what is a call option what is a put option and all other related things then it's you know very much uh, clearly mentioned in simple terms um, in the investopedia website so you can uh, refer that also of course uh, apart from all these things you have to cover one newspaper daily it is not necessary that you follow one finance or economy related newspaper you can refer any of them as i told earlier i read uh, in indian express daily so it is must for each of the paper so just make sure that you are reading this one newspaper daily at least then the next thing guys you have to do for the uh, section c of this uh, finance syllabus risk management in the banking sector so it is the first topic in under the section c c for the risk management in the banking sector for this topic specifically you can refer the iibf books uh, the books which are used for jaiib and caiib exams uh, banking guys banking guys must be knowing about this so just do not fear this topic just uh, don't think that it is you know high, very uh, technical in nature you can cover this topic very much easily by referring to these books i think two to three books are there but again just do not uh, you know cover these books page to page you have to be very much focused on your syllabus itself for example in the risk management just try to cover what is risk types of risks risk for example foreign exchange risk market risk banking book risk and all other related terms and one more topic which is not mentioned in the syllabus is basel norms so as you must be aware that basel norms 1 2 3 these are uh the standardized norms which are made globally for regulation of the banking throughout the world so you can refer this topic also this is very much important i think this is mentioned somewhere in in this iibf books so you can refer those books also for covering this particular topic then next thing guys uh, for finance paper specially just make sure that you are going through the rbi website on a daily basis or at least you know let us say once a week or twice a week it rbi website is very much important when it comes to the finance paper because every now and then rbi will release some you know let us say notifications or some rules or rbi will make some committee or he, it will release the uh, recommendations of particular committee for example i think uh, some few days or few months back uh, recommendations of viswanathan committee was released for cooperative banks so i think this year also uh, there were direct questions from the uh, rbi website in the finance paper specially they asked about some percentage limit or something uh, related to the banks capital or something like that was there i don't remember clearly but it was very much direct from the rbi website itself and one more risk management uh, based question was there that was also direct from the rbi website so just make sure that you are visiting rbi website regularly and we are making notes out of it and just revise it again and again apart from that other topic mentioned is budget and economic survey which is mentioned clearly in the syllabus itself so it is overlapping with the esi paper also so just make sure that uh, you are very very much well aware about the budget about the economic survey what are major recommendations of this year budget and uh, at least you make sure that you go through the summary of the economic survey at least if you do not have much time then please make sure that you are reading the summary at least if not uh, the complete economic survey related book so guys apart from the syllabus one thing which is not mentioned very clearly or mentioned at all in the syllabus itself is about this uh, numerical related portion so if you will see the iiib ba books for jiib and cib which i mentioned earlier you will see that some uh, numericals are there in that uh, particular book for example what is bond yield then what is internal rate of return or something like that is the rule of 72 so just make sure that you know the basic understanding about this bond yield and all other related uh, numericals few years back rbi used to ask the questions related to this uh, numericals also but uh, from i think 2 to 3 years it's not there in any of the exam but just make sure that you don't skip this cover ratios also which are very much important for example what is current ratio 
है ना वो एंड अदर रेशोज आर देर फॉर एग्जाम्पल लिक्विडिटी रेशोज एंड ऑल सो जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू नो द बेसिक्स अबाउट ऑल दीज रेशोज इट मे हैपन दैट यू नो आर बी आई डजेंट आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन डायरेक्टली इन द फाइनेंस पेपर और द फेज टू पेपर बट यू नो इट विल हेल्प योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर द इंटरव्यू ऑल्सो सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल एनी इंटरव्यूअर मे आस्क ओके इफ यू आर इंस्पेक्ट इंस्पेक्टिंग सम बैंक और यू नो इफ यू आर एन ऑडिट देन बट यू विल सी लाइक हाउ विल यू मेजर द हेल्थ ऑफ अ बैंक इफ द बुक्स ऑफ द बैंक आर हेल्थी और नोट so at least you make sure that you know basics about all these ratios balance sheet what is a balance sheet what is asset what is liability so uh, if you have not covered it please make sure that you cover all these basics also you can use internet extensively for the same uh, everything is freely available on the internet you do not have to refer any standard book for this part so guys uh, as i mentioned earlier after you have covered all the syllabus and its related portions which is mentioned very clearly in the syllabus itself just make sure that you start descriptive writing by yourself just start with the basics for example inflation is there in the syllabus itself so just start writing what is inflation okay how will you measure inflation what are various types of inflations so rbi doesn't ask very much tricky questions when it comes to descriptive part very specifically so just make sure that you are writing your descriptive answers by yourself and at least you know at this point of time on a weekly basis or something like that and you have to speed up your preparation and your answer writing as well it is not going to happen that you know you will write at the at the end of your preparation or when not notification will come you will start writing it is not going to happen just cover the basics and you know just uh, try to visualize the things just try to think in your head what is inflation okay how i will write it what are various types of inflation and all other related things then next uh, guys about the notes making for the finance part you can make notes uh, i think it is mandatory because finance you know is a very dynamic subject it is not happening that okay you will cover basics and everything static will be coming in the exam for example they may ask okay uh, what what is the inflation level you know what was inflation level in the last month so these dynamic things you have to remember so just make sure that your notes are also updated according to it so my advice is just make sure that you are making notes in the soft copy because you know managing hard copies will be very much difficult for you guys so any software you can use for that you can use simple word also that is not an issue so it's up to you which software you are using but make sure that you are making your notes topic wise anywhere in the uh, soft copy so i think that is all guys for the finance part if you will cover uh, these things which i mentioned your finance paper will be covered completely so just let me know if any other specific query is there in the comment section and of course keep working hard have patience and all the best thank you very much